Skylar B, let's get a few things straight before this nonsense that you and hunters of the, against the NRA are spewing gets further out of hand. You say that you mean no harm, yet you have no problem violating the constitutional rights of all Americans and legal gun owners in this country. How is this causing no harm? You throw a tagline in your video and on images that say, your real country defending this country. You do realize that the, the defense of this country and her constitution required the use of guns, right? Prior to the Revolutionary War, in addition to taxation without representation and other complaints, England tried to disarm the colonies. You know how that worked out. Your policies and proposals only punish law-abiding gun owners of this country and do nothing to prevent further mass shootings and other gun violence. Do you really think that the criminal elements are just going to lay down their guns because you or some silly law said so? Your proposals do not address the possession of firearms by prohibited individuals. How do you plan to fix this error? Okay, you have said I cannot share these posts or comment if I am pro-NRA or pro-gun. Yeah, that's a First Amendment violation. The First Amendment guarantees the freedom of expression and Congress is prohibited from restricting the right of the press or the rights to, of an individual to speak freely. You say that um, you want to force me to give up my guns. Well, that's a Second Amendment violation. On June 26, 2008, the U.S. Supreme Court held in District of Columbia v. Heller, they held five to four that the Second Amendment guarantees an individual right to possess firearms independent of service in a state militia and to use those firearms for traditional lawful purposes, including self-defense within the home. You propose that census workers go door to door with x-ray machines and metal detectors to find and seize these guns. Well, that's a violation of the Fourth Amendment. The Fourth Amendment is the right of the people to be secure in their persons, houses, papers, and effects against unreasonable searches and seizures. And it shall not be violated, and no warrants shall issue, but upon probable cause, supported by an oath or affirmation, and particularly describing the places to be searched and the persons or things to be held, or to be seized. Now, here's the problem. You're not going to get a, any judge in any court in this land to sign a John Doe warrant that allows you to search for guns and seize them if they've done nothing wrong. Okay? Now, you propose a wage garnishment and property tax increase for gun ownership. Yeah, that's an Eighth Amendment violation. Um... <clears throat> That amendment protects me against unreasonable fines, fees, and penalties. Not going to happen, pal. Uh, you propose forced labor in lieu of paying illegal fines, fees, and penalties. Yeah, that's called a violation of the 13th Amendment. Now, under your proposal, I will work for 90 cents an hour, which you seem to think is fair. Yeah, that doesn't even meet the standards of the Fair Labor Act and wage and hour, federal wage and hour standards, which requires that I be paid at least $7.25 an hour. And since all the monies that I generate during that forced labor is going to be used to pay the illegal fines, fees, and penalties, yeah, what you've done is gone from indentured servitude to slavery. Now... Uh, on December 6th, 1865, with the ratification of the 13th Amendment, it abolished slavery in the United States and provides that neither slavery nor involuntary servitude, except as punishment for a crime, uh, shall exist within the United States or places subject to their jurisdiction. Now, going back to the Second Amendment, the possession of a firearm unless you are in the prohibited class of peoples, is not a crime. So, yeah. You're proposing 
involuntary servitude and slavery, and that's not going to happen. Okay? You propose that all legal gun owners wear an identifying badge. Now, this screams of Nazi Germany and identification of the Jews. This led to the Holocaust and the extermination of over 6 million people. Rest assured, my friend, that no elected official will ever propose such nonsensical legislation, nor would it ever get to the required votes to move past the proposal stage in attempt to make new law. There's just too much legal opposition, opposition case law, not to mention co constitutional law, that will prevent this from ever coming to fruition. You claim that this is the perfect solution, or as close to it as we're going to get, and that all parties agree to it. Unfortunately, this is not the case, as evidenced by all the dissension in your videos and in your posts. Okay? You have not proposed an idea that has not violated the Constitution and the Bill of Rights on some level. And I suggest you go back to the drawing board and keep trying. Until then, I suggest that you stop trying to prevent, trying to prevent, punish law-abiding gun owners. It's only making you, Lawyer Andy, and Brother Milky look like uneducated fools.